this is my 2013 BMW HP4. We're going to do a complete walk around and discuss some of the aftermarket parts that are on this motorcycle. The HP4 came with an Akrapovic full titanium exhaust system. I removed it and installed the Brox Performance full titanium exhaust. I did that because uh, the Brox exhaust is shorter than the one that was on the bike and I just like the look of it better and to me it sounds better as well. titanium there. We also have um, Rizoma crash protectors. All right. We also have a Rizoma oil filler cap. This bike is race ready. It's been prepped for the track and I will be doing a track day very soon. So the bike is ready to go. We have Rizoma bar ends as well. The HP4 came with Brembo monobrock, excuse me, monoblock brakes and Brembo rotors. And this bike stops phenomenally. I've had two S1000s and this bike stops much better than them. Of course we have the HP breakaway levers, HP rear sets, lots of carbon fiber on the bike, we have a carbon fiber frame guard which helps keep the frame cooler than usual. I never, I've never had issues with the frame getting hot but with the guard on it definitely don't have any issues. We have an HP custom seat. It's uh, partially Alcantara and leather. Let's check out the other side. We have the carbon fiber winglets up front. More Rizoma crash protectant. Now this side of the bike is different than the other side, so we have different color frame guards and different color bar ends. This is the DDC system on the HP4, which automatically adjusts the suspension up to 100 times per second for road conditions. And it's uh, the components for it are right there. We have a Rizoma front sprocket cover, which opens up that front sprocket pretty nicely. We have Vortex sprocket on here, and stock gearing. 37 front, 45 rear, and this is aluminium. 520 chain, DID, gold chain, very strong. And we eliminated the fender here on the back, which opens it up pretty nicely. We have the turn signals integrated into the uh, tail light with the competition works. A license plate holder with the BMW badging and this is an LED light that illuminates the plate 
to satisfy law enforcement. Sir. We have uh, extreme HID lighting for both the high beam and the low beam. HP4 number 1276 and this is the HP4 custom helmet that was painted for me by my good buddy David he does excellent work I think this helmet turned out very nicely it started off as an Arai Signet Q and uh, we paid homage to Arai by Incorporating a sticker up front. Alright. With the helmet removed, we can see some of the electronic components that help this uh, suspension adjust. And we also see the lever to control the 15 levels that we have for the DDC. I'm sorry, for the DTC. So the DTC has 15 different levels when you're in slick mode that you can select. I usually keep mine in slick mode negative seven. And this bike also has launch control. We have a Rizoma front brake reservoir, brake fluid reservoir. are the ballasts, ballasts for the HIDs, high beam and low beam behind there. Let's hear how she sounds, huh? we've gone over everything on this uh, BMW HP4 motorcycle. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel and uh, view the video of this bike dynoing 197 horsepower at the rear wheel. Thanks in part to the Brox Performance Exhaust, BMC air filter, and a couple other parts that we had installed helped achieve those high numbers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for viewing.